Right, the first thing you want to do is you want to go up to the top left corner, you want to hit file, you want to do new, and then you want to change the width and the height of the picture. The width wants to be 1280 and the height wants to be 720 pixels. Make sure it says pixels here, you don't really need to change anything else. Okay, so now we're presented with our canvas here. The first things we want is a nice bright background, uh, so you can Google search for loads of them, Get there's all different, you can search colorful backgrounds, bright backgrounds, spiral backgrounds, multicolored backgrounds, but today I've got this one, uh, this is quite a cool one, it's just bright and boom, and again, uh, the, the viewers will look and go, wow, look at that bright, boomy thumbnail. <laughs> So uh, then when you when you got your background here, uh, when you've opened your image, it'll open up in a different tab as you see at the top. And you just want to highlight the whole thing by going to this square and then just dragging across the whole thing. And then you can click edit, copy, and then edit, paste that into your original uh, file there and you can get rid of that one because you don't need it. Now that was kind of handy because that image was already 128 by 720. But if it's not, say the image was like this when you pasted it in, all you have to do is grab it pull it out to the size of the border and then hit OK. Uh, so now we want to put our text on. So uh, we're going to do a trees are awesome. There we go, look at that. Uh, now you can resize, reshape, remold, reposition, re whatever your text, whatever you want to put it, put it wherever you want to move it, move it, uh, just be creative, be, do whatever you want to do with it. Uh, we can tilt it by going to the corner and moving it around. You can do all sorts of things with it. You can change its position by doing it back to front but I wouldn't recommend that because then you can't actually read it so it's kind of rubbish uh, but just be creative do whatever you want to do with it position it where you want I'm gonna tilt it and put it up nearish the middle here make it nice and big and then apply that now what I would recommend doing is going down here to you see the little FX button right down here in the uh, bottom right you can click that and you can go up to stroke uh, and you get a nice black border around your image, make it nice and thick, and then again, it'll be nice and clear and bold for the people who are looking for videos and whatnot to read. And again, they'll be like, wow, look at that, we're going to click on it. Uh, so you can do sorts of other things as well. You can do like outer glow and make it nice and bright and it shines out like that. And again, that's attracting the viewer's eyes to your thumbnail and they'll go, wow, look at that thumbnail. I want to click on that thumbnail and then they'll click on your thumbnail. Uh, so we can make it nice and bright like that. Now we obviously want our images in here. So the first thing I'm going to pick an image of is a tree, obviously, because trees are awesome. So we need a picture relevant to our uh, thumbnail. We don't want pictures of boobs and pictures of people's bums because all that's going to be, people are going to click on it, wanting some pictures of boobs. They're not going to get any pictures of boobs. So they're just going to click off and they'll probably leave a nasty comment or a nasty uh, dislike in there as well. So the people that put, it's like, Vines! Wow, look at these vines! And then they put like a massive picture of like boobs on the front. Everyone, all the male audience is gonna go, wow, look at them boobs! And they're gonna click on it, and then they're gonna not get pictures of boobs, and they won't like the, 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 the lack of boobs. And that won't be good. So we don't want any boobs. Uh, rule number one, no, <laughs> no boobs. Uh, so when you open your image, it'll open up in a different tab. Now, luckily, mine's already got a transparent background, so I can just highlight this whole thing, Edit, copy, and then edit, paste into our image here. You can resize it, it's a little bit big. Mold it again, put it where you want, put it there. Nice and simple, beautiful. Apply that, we can get rid of that. And there you go, Bob's your uncle. And then what I would recommend doing is again, putting a stroke on the image. Uh, you can do whatever, you can do white, it looks kind of nice. Like that, make it nice and bold again. Wow, look at that, nice bold tree there, brilliant. Uh, but what would you do if your image doesn't have a transparent background like these eyes here? We just want the picture of the eyes. We don't want uh, the red background. Well, there is a handy tool. You can go down to a razor, uh, hold it, click and hold, and then you're presented with free. You can go down to magic eraser and now and just click, click on the background that you don't want. It'll just get rid of it like boom, like that, like magic. But uh, if it's really complicated uh, and there's loads of different shapes, loads of different colors, the backgrounds, like a real beautiful sky with a sunset and there's lots going on then it's probably better to be drawing around your image very carefully and neatly like this and then you can just right click on it and then layer via cut and you can go over here and delete that layer and then you've got a nice clean 
very presentable image. Obviously, I haven't because I've just done it real quick, but I can just use a magic eraser to get rid of that like so. And then same with the square again, get the square, drag it over, edit, copy, edit, paste into here, cross it off, we don't need it anymore. Nope. Uh, now we've got our eyes, we can put them on the tree, like so, that's nice. So, and usually, there's like a second line of text, uh, giving a little bit a little bit more information, like sometimes it's like, how to grow a tree, but obviously we've got trees are awesome here, so I don't want to put underneath, we're just going to put nice leaves <laughs> completely spelt nice one but that doesn't matter uh, so we can uh, again put this under here like so and then move it as one well. usually a little bit smaller but again hit okay on that use the effects button down here go to stroke give it a nice bold stroke uh, to attract the user's eyes to it bam we don't want it bolder than what our original title is, because then it'll it'll just see Nasi leaves <laughs> instead of trees are awesome. So we want trees are awesome, Nasi leaves, uh, and then there you go. There's your thumbnail. Another thing you can do is give it a nice border by going to the square tool right down here, and then obviously no fill, uh, and then uh, get away, and then stroke, and then you can draw a border around it like that, and you get a nice border and something you can do to the border as well is give it a drop shadow by going down to that FX button again and then like so and then it'll like make it a bit bigger like that and then it'll make the middle bit look brighter and more BAM whilst you got a nice uh, sexy border around the outside as well uh, also say like obviously it's one in a series like you're doing a series of trees are awesome you can go down here and you can do like uh, Hashtag uh, series. Uh, this is going to be episode 89 of uh, Trees Are Awesome. You can put this down here, like so. Make it bigger, however, what you want it to be. Uh, I don't know why it's gone so dodgily like that, but uh, and then you can add like a stroke to it again. Just a nice little stroke that time. You don't need too much. So, Trees Are Awesome. Nissi Leaves, episode 89, there's your thumbnail. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, then don't forget, please leave a comment uh, asking the questions. Uh, we'll reply to you as soon as possible. Uh, but other than that, I hope you found this helpful. Leave a like if you found this helpful. Please check out my channel. Uh, I have loads of awesome stuff on my channel, I think. Uh, <laughs> other than that, have a nice day. Good luck with your thumbnails, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.